Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Plane Mechanic Simulator. We are still working on the Tiger Moth. I have gone and double checked. There are other planes. There are three planes in the game at the moment. There's a Tiger Moth, there's a Tiger Summit Mosquito, is it? Hang on, I had it right there in front of me just a second ago. Um, wait, wait for it, wait for it. It's, it's, it's right here, there we go. Um, the de Havilland Tiger Moth, the de Havilland Mosquito, and the Submarine Spitfire Mark I. Those are the three that, um, of that era, uh, yeah, those are the three that we got at the moment. More will be coming later on, but we've got those three. So at the moment, we're still working on the Tiger Moth. Um, I'm afraid another student had a hard landing today. The aircraft seems okay, but I want you to replace the compression eggs just in case. And we obviously got to refuel, and then that one can be on its merry. We are aircraftmen first class. Okay, we, we, we're definitely an aircraftsman first class. We, we, we've got, we've advanced beyond second class aircraftsmen. So I want to put that one down there like that. Climb the ladder and the first thing we want to do is take you off. And I just want to very quickly do this right here and get that bit going. We're getting faster at being able to do this, which I think is absolutely wonderful. Fill that up with fuel like that, and then back up the ladder, take the hose like that, and then we can pop that one away. That one goes whizzing off up the road like that, RAF 230, he's on his way. Uh, better just go back up here, go into number two like that, and close that one up. Down we go, take the ladder, and we are done. Right. So I know that the refueling bit is not everybody's favourite part, but um, it, you know it's, it is kind of an essential part of aircraft maintenance. So, um, and also that was, you know, as, as far as the real life um, is concerned, it's, it's it's pretty accurate, I think. Right, we lift you up there, and we go up. There we go. Right, that's up as high as we can go. Compression legs. I need to do both the compression legs like that. There, and then I want to take you over here, the, there, left compression leg, over there like that, take those two off, that's all I got to do is the compression legs, there wasn't anything else that I needed to do, I don't think, replace the, comp yeah, just the compression legs, uh, inventory, they're not repairable, unfortunately, there are very few parts that can actually be repaired, but uh, there we go, so, Sign there to replace those, and then we come back here, and we go to option two, like that, there, there we go, there's one of them, and then we, oops, right, we come over to this side, I'll put that one on as well, there, to you up down there, there's that one, and there's that one, right, that's done. We are done completely already, and I will... Let me just take this jack down a minute. There we go. Right, pick that one up, and we'll put it back over here. Out of the way, and that's all done. A really nice, quick, easy job to get things started off with today. I won't... Hang on. Fresh legs. Fuel the aircraft. Final, perfect job, 30 points, right there. We're going all the way up to leading aircraftsmen with 650 points so far. So, continue our career. This episode won't be particularly long today by my normal standards. My children are on holiday this week, so I'm cutting several episodes a little bit short. Uh, this will probably be one of them. Right, Tiger Moth, still. We visited an airfield with tarmac runway, which must have ruined our tail skid. Replace it. Refuel, replace the tail skid. That's easy stuff. That is easy stuff. We refuel first. I, I like to do the refueling first and get that out. And actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to bring that back there. And I'm going to put it down. Then I'm going to run over here. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go... Wait. One. How do I... Option three. 
Tail skid. Oh, no, no, of course not. Of course not. Silly fool. Frith, you silly fool. Pick the jack up, put that one in underneath first. There, that's what I needed to do. Right, so, then I go to tail skid and I'll order all of those to be removed like that. And then I'll come out of this mode. While that one is undoing, I'm going to run over here. Climb the ladder. Take that fuel cap off. And then I will deal with this bit here. Pick that one up. Bring it out. Put you into there. Put that one down. Like that. Yeah, we haven't got very much fuel needed in that one at the moment. And come out of there. Right, so next, while that one is in there, the tail skid is not something that we can go and replace. So we'll just go into there and I'll sign like that for a new part. Then I will come down here and I will go to option two and I'll put the tail skid back on. And I request that all of those bolts go back in and then I can run back over here, climb up, take that one, put that one up there, climb back up and option two. Wait. Ah, there. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't working. I might have still been doing up the bolts down the bottom, which is why it wasn't showing. Um, take the ladder and put you over there, and then I can come back over here. This one should now be finished, so I can take that jack out like that, and I can put it down over here. It should be all done. There we go. As simple as that. There. Place tail skid, five points. Another five points. Final result, perfect job, 30 points. And we go all the way up to 689. Next task, what have you got for us? Come on then. We're heading rapidly toward leading aircraftmen. That's, that's what I want, leading aircraftsmen. That's, that's, that's going to be my title. Still with the Tiger Moth. The engine is randomly losing power. Find out what's the problem and fix it before the next flight. Didn't we do all of these? These seem familiar. Never mind. This one should be... Oh, wait a minute. Was that that yo Well, I know there's a refuel because we've got the, the refueler right there. I didn't want to do that. Take the ladder. I'd like to do that. So if the, the engine's randomly losing power, that suggests that there could be a fuel intake problem. So we're going to assume that it is a fuel intake problem. I'm going to remove that fuel tap, uh, cap right there. Uh, no, I don't want to go there. I want to go and I want to grab that one. And I want to go up here. Put that one onto there. Come down to here. Like that. Do up the fuel gauge like that. If I, am I on a timer on this one? I don't know if I'm on a timer or not. I might be on a timer. Put you away. Uh... Just in case I am, let's let's uh, let's not dawdle. Put that fuel cap back on, and then down here, take you. Because there's a stopwatch up in the corner. Time to complete 20 minutes. Ah, right. So no pressure or anything, but if we don't get this right, I will lift that one up, and I prefer to work without that one overshadowing everything. Um, because I'll take this side off as well. Lift that up like that. Take you off. Take you off there. And then take off the top engine cowling as well. That's going to give us a little bit more breathing space so we can see what's going on in here. Uh, we will go to option three. So the engine is randomly losing power. Damaged fuel filter right there. Carburetor, what's that one? That one's fine. Um, cover, induction pipe. Fine. Yeah, well, I don't imagine any of those are going to be out. Timing gears unit is fine. Pressure filter is fine. Check the magnetos as well. That one's all right. The oil filter, that one is fine. Uh, the only other bit is that magneto over there. That one is also good. So it's likely to be just that fuel filter that is causing the issue. So we will go to option number one like there. And, yes, you can see, somebody did point this out, similar to the mechanic on Car Mechanic Simulator, the parts that are worn 
are physically damaged. You can see that they are physically damaged, which is actually quite cool. Right, let's take that one off of there. Like that. And we will come off of there. We'll run over this way and we will go to the part maintenance space. A damaged part right here. We That's nice and easy. It's slightly slower than it was before, I think. And then we got that one. We've got... Move that round. There we go. We got a bit up there, and you're good. And then we got that one there. Right, perfect. Part fully restored. Run back over here, and we go to option two, like that fuel filter. Put that one back on. There, top engine cowling. Oh, wait. Now, if it's fixed the problem, we haven't fixed the problem. Right. I put the bits back together and it's... We haven't fixed the problem. If we had fixed it, it would have said that it was fine. So that one's done. But we're randomly losing power. It says that's alright. Um, where else would be random... Filters are fine. Those are fine. Uh, left ignition wires... Fine. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um. Oh, I, I got to remove. Okay, bottom engine cowling. I just had a thought. Spark plugs. It could very well be spark plugs. If we're losing, if we're randomly losing power, it could be spark plugs, couldn't it? That could be a thing. So I need to go to option three, spark plug. That one is fine right there. Uh, you are... Da there we go. There we go. Spark plugs. Look, see, I'm actually... I'm, I'm learning. Some of you are going to be so proud of me right now. Some of you are going to be so, so proud of me right now. Let's take that one off of there. And then we go back to the check mode. That one's okay. That one's okay. That one is damaged. And that one is... Fine. Right. So I will go to you. Uh, I don't want that. I want to go spark plug. 15 minutes left. So I've got one spark plug there on that bit. And then I've got another spark plug down here. Which was that one, wasn't it? Which was the one. That one looks more down. Uh, it's that one down there. That one looks more damaged. Spark plug there. Undo that bit. And that will pull the spark plug out. Right. Okay. I can't repair spark plugs. We need to go and get two new ones. There. Sign here. Okay. Apparently all I need is an X. And then we go to option two. And we put that one back in. As soon as that's in, I can pop that back on. There. And then I can come back over to this side and put that one on. That'll do that up. And then I can put the engine cover. That should be everything. Yes. Fix the problem with the engine power. All primary tasks complete. Cooking on gas. All right. Put you into there. And then... Put that one up on there as well. Put those back on. Like that. Put the engine cowling back on. Close you down and do you up. And then I'll put that one back on. And like that. There. Done. Right. Over there. And I did that in about six and a half, seven minutes. I feel that was pretty good. We had 20 minutes. We've, we've given ourselves an extra five minutes per task, though, haven't we? Which is good. Five right there. Save spare parts. Another five points. Perfect job. Another 30 points right there. Takes us all the way up to seven, three, four. We are doing well. Next one. Continue our career. Have we got to get all the way to the um, air craftsman, whatever the next rank is in order to get a new airplane. Are we just going to be working on the Tiger Moth until then? 
There's still something wrong with the engine. I scratched the aircraft from today's flight plan so that you can have a whole day to fix the problem. Fix the problem with the engine power. Right. We're, there's not a time scale on this one, and we don't have to do any refueling. That suggests that there is something a little more sinister deeper inside the engine. So we're going to do a quick dismantle. Like this. Engine cowling there. Um, that one off. Take you off. I'll take these covers off as the, the first priority. Like that. Go in there and remove those. There, like that. Right. Now, I'm just wondering what would be the fastest way to do this. I'm going to whip that spinner off a minute. There, we take that front bit off and then we'll take those off. We'll take the propeller off and we'll take that front cover off. And then I'm curious, and the air screw hub right there. I'm curious what is going to be our best option, really, for finding out exactly what's wrong with it all here. Um, there's something else that is causing it to lose power. Somehow, some way, it is still losing power. Um, let's first go on to this. We can start checking over the engine like this with different bits like that. Um, that's fine. The magneto is all right. Pressure filter in there. Oil filter suggests actually that there's something inside the engine in there that is causing this issue. The, those are fine. Cylinder head, barrel, a cover right there, another spark plug. Um, yeah, so if I just go over all of this with a fine tooth comb a minute and check every part that is visible like this, there, another plug, plug, that one's pristine, that's the one that we just replaced. And then we've got these. There shouldn't. Those aren't going to cause any issues down there. We know that. And then there's a magneto over here. That's fine. So uh, I got that one. Crankcase front. Uh, crankshaft is fine. Camshaft cap is fine. Right. Next, I'm going to take off the ignition wires. Right. There. Like that. And I'll come over this side. I'll take off the air intake pipe. Up there. Uh, the intake wires there. Carburetor. That one. The exhaust pipe under here. Like that. Uh, takes them off two at a time, so it does do it pretty quick. We don't have to worry about it taking too long to do these bits. Uh, the induction pipe right there. Like that. So that's all of that bit. And we'll get rid of the engine cover on this side as well. What's that last couple of undone down there? There we go. Right, engine cover there. Take you off. Like that. So we've checked the spark plugs. So now we can do the cylinder block assembly. We can do that as a whole unit like that. And that's the next thing I want to do. I want to take those off as whole units. There. All right. And then I can do that one. And I can do that one there. So you press and hold for the, the whole units. They come off like that. Okay. And now looking in a little bit closer, we go back to option three. The piston is fine, the piston rod is fine, and it's the rings that I mostly want to check. That one's fine up there. This this is what I'm thinking, is that it's either the piston rods or the rings themselves. Uh, the, the piston or the rings. Probably the rings, actually. It's, well, this, this, is, this is my theory. I don't know very much about engines, as most of you know. It could be that the rods... Actually, can we access... Can we check those? You right there. It would be misfiring. You'd probably hear it if it was a piston ring issue, wouldn't you? There, push rods. You can get them underneath. 
Ah, I had no idea. Right, we got two damage push rods down here. Three. I don't need to take that top bit off at all. Right, we've got three damaged push rods. No, sir. <laughs> I can't take those apart. I've got to take that one out in order to be able to do it. Uh, I can take that out. I don't think I can remove the camshaft, though. Ooh. Is it going to let me do it now? No. No, I can't take them out the bottom. I've got to take them out the top. Right, in which case, we, this is going to take, we're going to have to do this the long way. So I don't think we've got to worry about those units over there. We'll soon find out, because it will at least tell us if the job is done. So we'll quickly whip over all of them, and all the way up there, and all the way down there. And then we've got two back there. Right, you can see here, it very, very quickly uncovers all of these. While it does all that, though, I'm going to have a little drink. All right, it's just working its way round the last of them now. So much better. As once we do get our next upgrade, I'm definitely allowing it to do three bolts at once because this, this, this is probably the greatest time saver that we've had in all of it. Being able to check things faster would be nice as well. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely the one that I want. Now, can I remove these rods yet? Uh, I'm going to go to option three. So it's those two and that one down there. Uh, number one. Yep. One, two, and three. With that cover off. Hopefully, that'll be all it is. Uh, push rods. Let's just check that. Damage push rods. We can't replace. The, uh, we can't repair them. Sorry. Um, go into here. Push rods. Sign here to confirm. Now, if I put them back in, if that is all it is, it will tell me once I've put them back in. Right? It won't make me go through a whole load of extra stuff. So I can zoom in a little bit down here. Uh, cylinder block. Push rods. Hang on, because I can put that whole thing in together and push rod. There we go. Fantastic. Right, cylinder block. Put you on. That's all primary tasks complete. The next cylinder block on. As soon as that's done up, we go to the next one. I like being able to take these cylinder blocks off. That is really good. So those push rods, that's what we missed on our first one. Right, it was they, there was a bug earlier in the game but that wasn't what what i experienced wasn't actually any kind of bug it was just me missing um something that i shouldn't have missed basically um it was just my bad so yeah even though i'd like to say that i'd got it right and uh, but no i definitely missed those push rods the first time i looked at it uh which is a bit of a shame but still i've now learned my lesson if I go all the way up there like that, and then all the way down there like that, and then we go over the top of those, and then we go back around again, chasing these bad boys like that. There. And you just got that little line down through there to just finish up with. As long as it doesn't take too long. Go on. And down through there. Right, let that lot do back up again. We can start putting some of these other bits on while those are doing up, though. So I can order those to be put on and put back in. And then click out and we go to the induction unit in here and start doing those up down there. Um, I click out. I can put the carburetor straight back on. What else can I put on? I can put that one on the front there. Around like that. I can put the top cover on. I don't want to put the top cover on. I will put that air intake on up there. And I'll put the exhaust pipe on down there. Get all of them doing up. Like that. And then we can put the bottom engine cowling on. Like that. Top engine cowling can go back on. Like that. I've got... Let's not forget to put... That one back in there, right? That's, that's, that's kind of important to have that one. I don't know if I should have put that back in before I did any of the other bits, but I didn't. So, yeah, it, it's it's done now. We've we, we done it like that. 
And then you can go back on, easy enough. And you can do up. And then we can put you back on over here. Just do that up a minute. And then you can go back on and do up. And then while that one's doing up. Go on. Why is it not? Sometimes it's it's getting in the right you're mousing over in the right place to be able to do that. Right, that one's done up there. Then we can pop the propeller back on, the spindle plates, uh, do those six up, and then there's one more to go over the top, and this job is complete. I'm so pleased! We actually did it, and I, I, I feel that we did a decent job of it this time. Right, I, I do feel that I've accomplished something well with this. Fix the problem of the engine power, it's also allowing me to do that. Fix the problem, job done. Final result, perfect job, another 30 points. I get less points for doing this than I did for changing the struts on the bottom, and changing the struts was definitely a longer job. Right, continue career. I'll see how long this next job is likely to take us as to whether I do go for a bit longer in this episode or whether we call it quits right now. Uh, we're back to check the undercarriage, refuel the aircraft. Another day of flying, check the undercarriage. Um, that's quick and easy. We'll do that. We'll do a quick undercarriage check, and then we're going to call it quits for today's episode. So let me run over to here, and back a little bit. Right, so we very quickly, we do the whole fuel thing. Let's see how quick we can do this. Grab that one, and we run up the ladder. We put that one into there. We come over to here. Start that one up. Fuel. There we go. Come out of there. Back up. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Uh, I don't think that I can do the fuel cap at the same time as um, like doing the other bit. So I can jump down here. I've got that ladder over there before the fuel tank has even gone away. There, we've, we've refueled the aircraft. I think that was pretty good going. I do. I think, I think that was genuinely pretty good going over there. So we want to zoom in over here a minute. We want to check that wheel cap. That is fine. That one's fine. We've got a compression leg. It is pristine. There's... It's just a compression leg under here, isn't it? There is no other part of it that needs to... We've got one damaged wheel over there. And the wheel cap, that one is fine as well. There's one other bit that I want to check, which is over here. Tail skid. And you are damaged as well. Right. So we go to option one. We pick up that jack and we dump that one in there. We come back over here and we very quickly take all of those off up there and all of them off down there. So while that is busy undoing, I can grab that one and I can run and I can put that under there. And there we go. It'll spin around like that. There. So it's just one wheel on this side that I need to take off. Is that wheel cap right there. Okay, there's small little tiny ones they are. I'll take them off of there like that. And then the wheel itself, that one can also come off. Right. So I need a wheel and a tail skid. It's the only bits that I need. There and there. Thank you. Right. Let's put the wheel back on. Number two. There goes the wheel. I put that one back onto there, and then I want to put the hub back onto there like that. And uh, oh, I can come out from there, and I can immediately. I love the jack. Right, honestly, out of out of out of everything in here, I think that the mechanic for using the jack is absolutely one of the greatest things in this game. It's. It's a very, very simple concept, but I, I, do, I don't know why. I really genuinely love it. I think it's brilliant. Right, I come out of there like that while that's doing up. I can go over to here. Oh, I've got to wait for it to do up before I can remove the jack. There we go. That, would, that, that does actually make a bit of sense. And we put that one down there, and this one is done as well. Another task complete. I am absolutely cooking on gas today, ladies and gentlemen. But that is all I've got time for. So I'm going to I'm going to call it quits now. Um, yeah. So there is our tiger moth right there. I'm, uh, well, I'll, I'll complete this job. Right. We'll do that one, and we'll see what the next one is. 
perfect job another 30 points so we're up over 800 810 points now um in our next episode we may reach our next target it does depend on the type of jobs we get if we've got to do full engine strip downs that may take it inspect we just had a call the air marshal will be visiting us today so we need every craft to be in pristine condition you can use as much spare parts as necessary but hurry up so we can send the aircraft to the paint shop i got 20 minutes to do a complete aircraft inspection right that could take a while uh, but at least we know which bits that we need to be looking for. We know which bits we need to be looking for. But I'll do that in our next episode. I'm not doing that right now. So if you enjoyed the episode, then please head down below. Give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.